It is being prophesized for almost a decade that Apple is going to use its in-house chips for the Macs. The rumors of Apple working on an AR-empowered MacBook has intensified for the past couple of years with renowned Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicting that 2021 would be the year Apple is going to release their ARM-powered MacBook. Before getting into details of our today's video, we have a video that you should check out on why Apple is considering the move following the link from the top right corner. Hey everyone, I'm Chaser and you're watching Tech Square. Apple has been looking for ways to reduce its dependency over Intel for its MacBook. This way, they won't have to wait for Intel to release their new MacBook while leveraging every bit of power on their own processor. Which is why they have been working on the macOS to run on ARM-powered processor. According to a report by Bloomberg, Apple is preparing to release at least one Mac with its own in-house chip next year. To achieve that goal, the company has taken up an initiative codenamed Kalamata to develop multiple chips, suggesting that the company's transition for its Mac lineup away from their current chip supplier Intel. According to that report, the chips for MacBook will be produced in partnership with TSMC. The Taiwanese chip manufacturer also makes the iPhone and iPad processor for Apple. The report also mentions that the chips will be based on A14 chip, which is due to be released with this year's flagship iPhone lineup. The report also indicates that there are in fact three Mac SoC is being designed based on the A14 processor as Apple is planning to keep both its laptop and mobile chips on the same development cycle. The alleged chips will be based on a 5 nanometer process and the first of these chips will apparently feature a total of 12 cores. There will be 8 high performance CPU cores for performance intensive workflows and the other 4 cores will be energy efficient to handle low power tasks to preserve battery life. If you're doubtful, then you should know that the A12Z chips on the current iPad Pro have 8 cores, 4 high performance and 4 energy efficient. Based on the A12 Bionic chip, the A12Z has a 7 nanometer process. The chip also includes an 8 core GPU, giving the current iPad Pro enough firepower to edit 4K video editing and rendering, which indicates that it is possible for Apple to make a chip powerful enough to run its MacBook. In conjunction with the CPU, the alleged Mac SoC will also include a GPU. Apple already makes a very capable GPUs for its iPhone and iPads, but on the Mac front, Apple relies on Intel for graphics of their lower-end devices and partnered with AMD for the graphics cards in their high-end MacBooks. However, it is unclear what Apple will do in terms of GPU in its ARM-based Mac processors. Since Apple has already partnered up with AMD, they could try doing something like what Samsung is trying to achieve in collaboration with AMD. If you don't know, Samsung strategically partnered with AMD where they will license AMD's RDNA GPU technology to make more powerful mobile GPU compared to Mali GPU or Qualcomm's Adreno GPU. We have a full video explaining that topic which you can watch following the link from the top right corner or I'll leave the video link in the description. Apple could follow Samsung in the same way to create powerful GPU for their ARM-based Mac processors using AMD's technology. Apple is planning to design more of its own chips to gain greater control over the performance of its devices and to differentiate from the rivals. All of its devices running on the same underlying technology would also make it easier for Apple to unify its app ecosystem. It will also help them reduce their reliance on Intel which will also save Apple a lot of greens and help get even more. Even though the rumors of MacBook with Apple's own ARM processor is almost a decade old, but the company engineers gained confidence in favor of the transition back in 2018. Apple reportedly developed a prototype Mac chip for internal testing based on the A12X processor which was used on the 2018 iPad Pro. That success apparently gave the confidence to begin replacing Intel in Macs. Bloomberg also reported that Apple has already started designing the second generation of Mac processors that follows the architecture of chips planned for the 2020 iPhones. Although which Macs will come with the in-house chips are still a mystery. But the transition is speculated to begin with, a new laptop since the first custom Mac chips won't be able to rival the performance provided by the Intel chips for the high-end MacBook Pros, iMacs and the Mac Pro desktop computers. Before it is rumored that the MacBook Air lineup could come up with the new ARM-based chips, but Apple could bring entirely new device lineup for few generations before starting to replace in the high-end devices. Despite a unified chip design, Mac will still run the Mac OS rather than iOS, and the switch away from the Intel will be complex and a technical challenge. This will take close collaboration between Apple's software and hardware team. However, Apple is said to be exploring tools that will ensure apps developed for the Intel-based Macs to work on the new machines. The company already has a technology named Catalyst 
that allows software developers to build an iPad app that is also capable of running on Mac computers. However, all of this will take time and a lot of effort from both the Apple and the developers. We have already seen Microsoft trying to achieve the same feat but stumbling in their attempt. Anyways, as for when the device may hit in the shelves, many speculating that Q4 of 2020 could finally see the ARM-powered Mac. However, due to the current situation, Apple's supply chain in Asia is facing disruption and the release of ARM-powered Mac could be delayed to 2021. And there is no news of if macOS is ready or not to run on ARM-based processor. Although WWDC is scheduled for the end of this month, and if Apple announces ARM-compatible version of macOS at the virtual WWDC, then the ARM-powered Mac may not be too far away. So that's all we have so far on Apple's in-house ARM-powered Mac. If we come across more news, we will let you know in another video. If you like this video, then hit the like and share with your friends. Comment down below to let us know your thoughts on ARM-powered MacBook. Consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos.